right, so welcome back. Today I had a pretty fun uh, pretty fun topic that I wanted to share with you, right? Because it does look like in the aspect of many things that yes, Nebar was cooking. Also, I'll make this clear that yes, there's been a lot of sort of L things that have been releasing, right? Things that just completely suck, and I didn't want to talk about that also. So today, this mainly is more of the positive. I will have a video that I've been kind of uh, making and I want to share with you uh, that is pretty kind of important about some stuff that's been going on recently, which will you, you'll put two and two together. And you're like, ah, that's why. So that is going to be saved for later. But yes, there are there uh, abundant problems that are still uh, popping up here and there on some things they've been doing, which I want to share with you. Again, I'll say that for a little bit. But right now, I want to show you some stuff that they've been cooking with. Because yes, among everything, among a lot of the problems, there are some great things. So the shining lights. And again, this video is going to be like 30 minutes if I combine everything together. So I don't want to do that. Hence that reason. All right. Like and subscribe. Helps out a ton. Let's jump into this and let's just talk about everything. First up, I need to give this a quick little thing. If you played the latest chapter of story, let me just say this now. And if you, if you say they did not cook, I'm going to smack you. I literally was so hyped in that entire chapter and depressed at the same time. Um, that, dude, I, we, we know what's happening soon, all right? And if you're an Eskimo fan, you know you're about to cry. Again, not to spoil anything if you actually play Grand Cross or Storyline and, like, you've never actually watched the anime, but you, pro you probably know this by now. Everyone knows this by now, almost. But again, I'm not gonna say nothing. But yes, this chapter, holy hell, was depressing as hell, but it was very well made. It was probably one of the best chapters I have watched in this game. Probably one. It felt literally like two years ago. When we got the original Meliodas versus Escort thing, and like that much hype of how they designed everything, and every aspect of it was great. All right, not to spend too much time on this little segment here, but let listen, listen, listen. Net Marvel is better than any animation studio at some point here, if you think about it, right? Like, they animated this so well than the actual animation studio that handled the game or that handled the anime, right? That is nuts to me that actually happened, okay? So, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, Net Marvel 1. They, they really did well in the entire animation. Everything, the feels and everything was just immense. Um, so whatever we say, whatever we say, you can't lie, the quality is there, okay? In their storylines, in everything, the quality is there. I recently started Tower of God, their other game, um, and whatever it is, the gameplay and the, the quality is there. It's a net marble game, it has quality. Sure, you might get shafted constantly, sure, you might get this, you might get that, but quality is always a thing that appears. So, realize that now, I can't wait for solo leveling to release, that's gonna be like, the most quality, and one of my favorite, uh, things. So, I'll see how that goes, but back to topic, great. Freaking storyline, great everything, great animation, W, good job, y you cooked, you definitely cooked. Next up, this is pretty cool, but yes, don't think that Marvel did not see what was going on. If you don't already know, Black Clover Mobile released two Summer Banners, I said A. There is no way that they just released two separate Summer Banners, right? They released three banners one time, like the season characters, and then three more. So they released six Summer characters altogether, six. That's a lot of summer characters, okay? Last year, Netmarvel specifically went and skipped summer. They did one summer unit and that was it. There was nothing of value beyond that. Just one summer thing and moved on. This year, they finally went back to two. Again, we were mortified when, when it happened last year. Everyone was so depressed. Like, why did you skip? A, why, why, why skip? Why skip? Does not make sense. Again, this year, they did listen and they did drop a summer unit. Though, again, not really a summer unit, but it's a summer unit. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just go with it. So at least they're... They are looking around and see what's going on around them. They are. Uh, Nick A released two sets of summer banners. Uh, Black Clover released two sets of summer banners. They said, screw it. We'll release two sets of summer banners. Um, basically, just two summer banners. But again, just, just want to put it out there. Second, yes, we're going to be getting this over here. They finally, and again, we all said, like, no, that's not going to happen anytime soon. But yes, they already did make the PvP chaos mode. This was promised in the dev notes. So they went pretty fast into actually getting this into full uh, thing here. We're going to actually be able to play this basically in a few days um, on JP. So two days away, we can actually play this and test it out and see how it is. But chaos mode has potential. If it's a side thing that pops up here and there, it is pretty cool. I still think that the PvP rule system is also nice. But if they were to separate the system where there's standard PvP, which is ungeared, and then there's regular PvP, which is, again, over here, um, being the, um, the, what is it, uh, geared, right? And then there's a third option, this option over here, which is a mode. It's a chaos mode here, it's a different mode there, and, like, the PvP rule that you would usually see popping up into ungeared pops up into that. So you, you could play, like, a different ladder, and again, this different ladder is paying you out gems. It's actually pretty good. Like, if you're playing in this mode, and, like, you really want to get competitive... It's going to be such a fun thing, and I do hope when it does release, it is as cool as it's looking, because again, this is where it comes into the, the part that they actually have been cooking. If you've been looking at it, I make gem guides. Um, the gem values of gems given to us has gone up recently, minus the Demon King Festival, just because that screwed you with summons. I told you that already, but every other update has actually been going up in gems. We've officially been going up about 70 to 90 gems an update, um, just or a, a month, right? Just because... 
they kick in Hero Arena, Labyrinth, a final boss, a final boss, a final boss, a final boss. Literally every single two weeks now, or three weeks now, you get a final boss. So it's, it's more consistent than it ever was. We usually have been going like a month or two of skipping of a final boss, which is always true. Remember, they gave uh, Tarot Trials the good old get out here like a while ago, right? So again, that was already a value we had deducted. Now, they added back Tower of Trials, finally, if you will, consider that these are gems, or let's say it's Tower of Trials gems, right? And then they added more beyond that, yeah? That new knighthood mode, all this stuff, they haven't given you gems constantly. So whatever you might say, they've been giving you a lot of gems. And again, I know people are going to be like, no, I don't feel it. Just because, yes, there's been more must summon banners, correct? Again, since the start of basically Eskinor, it's been a lot of gems being kind of put into the game. Um, and then again, with Hero Arena being released, with Labyrinth being released, and all this other stuff being released, there's been more and more gems. Remember, this is, whatever you whatever you might say, ranking decently high, which I think a lot of people can rank around 30 gems. That's still a lot, right? Still a lot. It's like the equivalent of aiming for Final Boss. Um, so most most people are going to be aiming for uh, for 30 gems, but that is a lot of gems. Okay, that's a free multi, just by doing this little mode here, um, which is which is still fun. We had the recent one with Einik, just 30 gems for the whole community completing it together, which was also pretty cool. Uh, cool. We did have Final Boss again kick up, which is Twigo now. We also are going to probably have a Labyrinth soon. Um, Hero Arena gives you a, a payout every single week of, uh, of gems, every time you complete the chest. So that's there too. So overall, there's a lot that they've been kind of cooking up with there. And then again, they have been listening and kind of doing content. As much as you want to say that they're not doing content, though the content may suck, they have been making content here and there, right? You got Hero Arena, you got the new Knighthood Orders uh, system re like redone. You have the PvP system now implemented, and now we have a PvE mode coming soon. So again, though you might not like a lot of it, which is true, some of it sucks balls, it is true, but now they have been doing more. It it's true, they have been. And now the final topic of this video, just wanted to bring this up because I know people are going to get very salty in this one. Uh, yes, the content creator program is now officially started, which is crazy, correct? Um, and now hear me out, hear me out before you get mad. First, if you have a thousand subscribers, you're considered a content creator. If you do any of these things, you're considered a content creator. Again, there's a bunch of things that they also have to kind of mention. And then yes, what you're gonna get basically is 1500 diamonds a month. The amount may be subject to change. Coupons for YouTube viewers to be used in events occasionally. Send to these things content creation related support. Decided after internal reviews, correct? That is what we get as content creators. So again, I'm a content creator. Any other content creator can get this stuff over here. That's it, correct? This seems like a very good program. And this is something that originally when the game started, they had a program where they gave you like t-shirts, <laughs> right? I've been still waiting for a t-shirt. Hey, yo, that Marvel. If, if I can ever get a t-shirt, that'd be great. Um, maybe a hoodie, a hawk hoodie. I'll wear that and I'll, and I'll face reveal. I'm just kidding. Um, so moving forward. Now, this is insane because first, if you don't already know, Netmarble has been actually reaching out to YouTubers that are outside of the Grand Cross community. They've been reaching to YouTubers that are like streamers, that are playing different games, playing different gacha games, like big ones, big content creators, right? And they've been kind of requesting a sponsor video, if you will. And they've been doing this more often. This is something that was very rare for Grand Cross. And now I see it almost every other week. We're getting a brand new freaking uh, content creator making a video about the game, which is nuts, correct? Um, and that's something that they've been kind of putting money towards, like increasing influence if you will yeah and again you wouldn't do that for a dead game everyone says oh grand cross is dead you wouldn't be reaching out to content creators to rehype up the game if, if it's a dead game yes you'd only do that if you're actually making money and you're able to spend that extra money onto you know kind of promotion and yeah all that right and again they also have been investing in the tiktok ads youtube ads constant ads um they have so much stuff popping up everywhere and it's something that i think that the game as much as we want to hate on it um they are cooking and they are working on some good stuff um and that is why they're doing this correct Remember, there was no need, if, if the game is going under, there is no need to open up a content creator program to entice content creators to play the game more and to help create and make a better gaming environment. Whatever it is, 1500 gems is a large freaking payout, bro. What the hell? 1500 gems, 1500. Like, listen, even if I were whaling right now, the max I could wail is like 300, 300 gems, 1500? Uh, but again, I do understand why people are very salty. They're like, oh, content creators already, uh, already have enough money. They can, they can buy whatever they want. But um, I don't know, that, that 1500 is kind of crazy. <laughs> 1500 is kind of crazy. Uh, will I be applying for it? People have been asking me. I do not know yet. And that's the honest answer. I'm not joking. Um, I will see. Well, I want to I wanna see how this program is kind of first. Um, I am very curious on how it works. Because some programs that exist in, in gotcha communities and in the, other games, they if you if you join their content creator program, you obviously can't talk crap about the game. And there is kind of constructive criticism that is, is always welcome in games. So if it's like the mute of that, like you cannot you know, constructively criticize the game at all. GG's, that's it. Then, I don't know. I don't know if I want to be part of it, right? Because again, I don't hate on the game. Clearly, I don't. I'm making a video where I'm talking positively about the game. Um, but, 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 there are problems. And there's a lot of problems. My next video in like three or four days will probably be like, oh, yeah, yeah. you know what? Screw you, Gogo, <laughs> from Neymar, what? Um, it's mainly the fact that, yes, I do think the game is great. 
whatever it is. Um, but I will, I will see how this approaches it and how I approach it uh, with this. But 1,500 gems is a lot of gems. The thing is, if you can't really say some things here and there about the game, then I don't know if I, if I should do it. But uh, again, some games do that. I don't know how restrictive this content creator program is. It could be a great content creator program. It could be like the best of the best of the best programs. And it, they could be like just helping content creators at least get a chance to summon stuff and showcase stuff and do stuff. That could be there. But again, just want to make sure. So I'll check that before anything. And I'll let you know how I approach it. Um, but I'm being honest here. I'm being very transparent. Again, you can you can kind of see why I'm trying to say it. But, you know, that's there. So at the end of the day, they've been cooking. They've been doing a lot of stuff. They've been literally listening in a, in a capacity i know i know there's there's still problems there's still things like that i prefaced that at the beginning of the video that i want to talk about those also but today i also wanted to just go through and say that yes through everything we've been getting more content we've been getting a bit a bit of better banners right people have been asking for better characters you've been asking for that don't think you haven't i kept getting that comment i kept getting that reddit post i kept getting everything seeing hey why are you releasing crappy characters now they released you three broken characters back to back you got tier basically one skip banner or not even a skip banner freya was good so Tear Freya, Demon King, now Nidhogg, now Collab. You asked for it. This is literally what happens when you want broken units. You got so many back to back. Tear was outstanding. Freya was very good. Demon King's outstanding. Um, Nidhogg units outstanding. Now collaboration will probably be good or outstanding. So you're at, you're at a point where that happened because you asked for it, correct? So they said, all right, you know what? Screw you then. <laughs> We're going to give it to you. Um, so again, at a capacity, they haven't been listening, more content has been coming out, and more stuff. In, in a lot of uh, things, like, they are releasing a little bit more. The Demon King Festival was still a very big letdown in the way of, well, come on, man, release more bosses than just Einik. <laughs> it was Einik, but community way. It was fun, but a bit more was pretty cool. Um, still, the storyline was enough for me. That literally was so good. But at the end of the day, that's what I want to talk about. Um, they have been releasing a lot more, and they've been doing a lot more, so... Uh, pretty big W's, and again, they've been increasing revenue. They've been kind of expanding the net marble operation uh, more and more, releasing more games and stuff like that. I can't wait to see what Origin cooks up because I think that is going to be one of the biggest games um, for the recent, like, in all of the gotcha games coming out in the next, like, one year. I think Origin is, like, probably the top three, it, it pro even even top one. That Bleach game was just beautiful. I don't know what to do about that one. That was beautiful. But beyond that, those are, like, the top three, so i can't wait can't wait to see what they're cooking up and i i really have high expectations for the uh, future i know we were in a bad time where people would be like dude this video is useless no no the game is uh, garbage but i do think from everything i've been seeing as like as like a content creator there is a lot happening and it's not because of the content creator program calm down calm down 